I am here with uh, Christy and Stephanie. Yeah. How are you ladies doing tonight? Great. Awesome. Good, good. Here at the uh, cheer practice, and I let you guys in the VIP door, so you guys are actually yeah. able to get here on the you floor, right? Come in. Yeah. For so. We've actually Thanks. been on this floor. Yeah. We performed on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I got gotcha. you. That's good how we roll. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Um, who do you got out here? Uh, see, go ahead. I have uh, two girls in competitive cheer. An older one who grew up in this gym, and um, she's actually on level five now, and so she got a lot of good um, education and background from this gym. And then I have a daughter out here tonight on the junior level three team. Her name is Claire Trey. Awesome. Good deal. How about you? And I have Sophia Gonzalez on the junior level three ice team. And behind us over here, I have they have an all-star prep team, which is for the little girls who are kind of trying it out and getting warmed up. Ava Marie Gonzalez, who is eight. Wow. Good deal. So you guys have been in the program for quite a while. Yeah. I've been here yeah. four years. Four years? At this gym. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and yourself? Probably, I'm trying to think. This is probably my sixth year. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, so EC must be pretty good. It's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Brag, brag on the gym here a little bit. Oh What's my gosh. The, yeah. Well, let's see. <laughs> oh my Our gosh. daughters were on uh, the same team last year that yes. brought home the first NCA title for junior level two last year. Yeah. First for title this for this gym. Yeah. That's kind of like the Super Bowl. That's right. You're familiar with NCA? It was huge. Here in Dallas, largest competition yeah. in the domestic United States. They got to compete at Disney World. So, and for a small gym, that's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. That's great. How about the instructors and the ownership here? Um, They're like family. Yeah. These girls are not a number here because it's a small enough atmosphere that they know them personally. They know us personally. They work with them. They've gotten injured. My youngest broke her arm last season. She didn't lose her spot on the team. They worked her into the last routine. Right. Wow. Yeah. It's a fan. Awesome. They, they have children that grew up with our children. They have three kids that live in the area. And um, so our kids are friends with their kids, and it really does you know, feel like a family environment. So. That's great. Now, how about uh, let's let's go to the sport of cheerleading. What's the what's the sport of cheerleading done for your girls? You got you've had some that have been they've been in the sport for a while now. You saw yeah. this quite a bit. Yeah, I um, I have an older one that's going to be a junior, and um, literally, you know, she came in as a gymnast, and so she came in a little bit later in the sport at 11. Came to EC, and same thing. She got very personal attention, so she had talent, but she wasn't a number, and she wasn't in a, a large mass volume of children, and so with that personal attention, her skill level increased um, dramatically and over a short period of time. So she went from, she came in at a level two, now she's a level five on an international co-ed team and is poised to try out and probably make most of the, any college that she wants to. So it's done a lot for her. Her little sister saw all that and so she's a flyer as well. Both my girls are flyers. So she's kind of the same thing and for her this gym means a lot because she's a little shyer and a little bit more introverted than my older and uh, she comes here she feels so comfortable that that just kind of goes away once she steps in the gym. Wow. That's great. I would think that's huge. I would say the same thing for my daughter. Yeah, she's 10 a little, and she's a little more shy and yeah. reserved and it's really kind of given her a confidence not just in cheer but in school and relationships and she's thinking about colleges at 10 and what she wants to do in the future. She doesn't want to sit in front of the TV. She wants to work out. And you would she never wants to know be healthy. It. And it's just, it's amazing. That's what it gives them. She knows how to be part of the team. And she knows that it's not just about her. She knows, I have a team waiting for me. I might not feel like going to practice today, but I'm going to show up because they need me. That's awesome. And that's life. Right. That's awesome. And you should see them step out on the floor yeah. when they get and their different performance. Kids. Yeah. yeah. They're very confident, very outgoing on that floor. And, and they know their purpose there and they know they're doing it for the team. They, I think it, they become driven and it feeds over into school and everything else. Exactly. It just does. That's awesome. Their that's, expectations that's... are higher. She yes. mentioned that we won NCAA. I mean, that is the ultimate mm -hmm. competition in this sport. Right. And so they already stepped on the floor this year thinking that they're going to go back and repeat. Yeah, <laughs> and they may or may not, but they have that yeah, feeling yeah. when they come to practice. At least they have so. that drive and that yeah, competitiveness. Right. And, and they, just, they all love each other and yeah. support each other. If someone's having a little struggle with their tumbling, they're all clapping for each other and cheering each other on. And that's, you don't see that in other places. Well, that's great. It's, I mean, like I said, this is a great sport, so we just, it's always nice to hear, you yeah, know, what it's doing yeah. for kids. Yeah. Thanks a lot for your Thank time, you. ladies.